All right, Audi, I'm putting you to the test today because I've seen Jeremy Clarkston take the diesel Audi, like something stupid, like 500, 600, 700, 800 miles on a tank. And I really love Audi. I love this S4, but I hate the mileage that it gets. Not saying that it's wicked bad, but it could be better and still keep the V8. So today I'm going to the uh, dyno day to see what kind of horsepower this car puts down and it's in Seekonk. I'm leaving Wareham right now and as you can see it says that I only have 35 miles left in this tank and right now I am getting 23 miles to the gallon. Will I make it? <laughs> well, we're gonna find out if I'm gonna make it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is input the destination of our trip in the uh, in the GPS. So figure out what it is. All right. So I gotta make a disclaimer right now. It's April and it's national. Uh, drivers awareness month so you're not supposed to be doing anything you're not supposed to be doing anything besides the wheel besides driving and except this all the time okay it's boring um, let's see here I do have the address because Troy Flurry sent it to me or as I like to call him Troll Fury down at the Seekonk Dino Tech right now because his friends are all gearheads and he sent me a message if I wanted to come and that is why I'm coming. I have no life. trying to be entertaining while I'm doing this. Don't forget, we're doing a, this is a scientific study today, you know. At 46 degrees Fahrenheit, I'm seeing that if a V8 Audi can make it more than the 35 miles that it claims it can only do. I remember on that Top Gear episode that Jeremy Clarkson actually put that car way past the zero. Like when it says distance till empty, zero miles, he just kept going. Now, I know that was a diesel car, so there's a much different, you know, fuel fuel consumption. They they can get 40 something miles to the gallon. I don't know what this car is going to do, but we're going to find out. We're going to find out, even if it ends with me on the side of the road. Well, that's not going to happen. But. I should stop and get a five gallon gas tank. 20 Hollister Road in Seekonk, Mass. 20 Hollister Road in Seekonk, Mass. Address is Seekonk. Oh, I like Seekonk because it's just S-E and it's boom. Not like Wareham where it's going to be Waltham or Walpole or Warren, Wellfleet, all right, there's number 20, Hollister, that's going to be the gayest uh, street ever, name, Hollister Road, where are you kicking it, Hollister Road, <laughs> so GPS told me I got 21 miles before I get off the highway, and my total destination distance, according to Garmin Nuvi, is uh, 33.4 miles to my destination. Again, Audi is telling me right now that I only have 30 miles left. My rate of consumption right now is 22.1, 22. Uh, this is going to be really fun. I 
wonder if I should make a phone call and tell my friends to meet me uh, near, you know, somewhere near uh, the 30 mile mark, you know. Or I could do it not, not entertainingly, I could do it scientifically and it'd be boring as hell. I'll just pull over, get gas, see how much gas was in there, and the next time I get gas, I can fill it up and know how much the difference was, and yeah, that's just boring. There's no risk, there's no fun in that. I should, I should get gas, like in a can, and do this for real, right now, right now. And I am going the speed limit. It's very boring. Oh, you know what I just remembered though? All right, so right now I'm getting 22 miles per gallon doing the 65 mile an hour. But I remember on that uh, Top Gear show, uh, he was not using the cruise control and said that he did much, much better. So over the last, uh, let's see, 20 minutes or so, I've been averaging uh, 21.9 miles per gallon. So I'm gonna try what he did. I'm gonna take the cruise control off. Okay, disactivate. I'm gonna reset the miles per gallon clock. And using the Garmin Speedo, I will keep it at 65. Because Audi, I don't know what you guys did at the Audi shop, but it's not 65, 65. Because I go by those cop things all the time, and I'll be doing, it, it says three less than what I say I'm doing. And I think you're trying to increase your top speed. Like if you were like, oh, this car does 167 miles an hour, which it does. Uh, according to the Garmin, it says 170 on the Speedo, but I wasn't doing 170. I, 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 I thought I was, Audi was telling me I was, but Garmin was saying no, no, no. And that was verified on two different things because I had a watch that had the Speedo on it too. 167 point something. I'm getting excited about all this speed talk and I'm going 66. I gotta be careful. And so far, it doesn't look good because I'm actually doing two miles to the gallon lower than what I was doing. About one, 21, 22, 20 something. So it might be safer just to put it back on cruise control. 20.7. 20.6. Oh, he was right, this is boring. Somewhere in this video I'll cut it and I'll put a bunch of other cool stuff that's going on in the world of cars. Uh, right now the new WRX was unveiled, that thing looks unbelievably good. Unbelievably good. You know, even though it's doesn't look a thing like the old one. Um, wow, good job. Long lines, the coupe looks just awesome. Uh, I doubt it'll come with those 19 inch rims because does any Audi come stock with 19 inch rims? Does any come stock with 18 inch rims? They're 17s on the STI, aren't they? Are they 18s? I don't know. Oh look, so since I put the cruise control on, I'm back to 21.4, 5, 21.5, I'm almost back to that 22 mark, 21.6, I'm going downhill, I'm going downhill, that's what's doing 21.7, yep, yeah, if you go downhill with a windier back, and this car might actually get good mileage, as you can see, we are traveling on 195, south to Seekonk, I keep forgetting that I am running dangerously low on fuel right now. Look at that thing. Now, I have, I have taken this thing, the limit on gasoline, down to zero. And it was still going. Um, I don't remember exactly the numbers when I got to the... Uh, when I got to the gas station next, but I knew that it was very close. 
to what they claim to be the size of this gas tank. I believe it's 16 and a half, 17. But I always feel like there should be more. You know, I had a 98 1.8 turbo that I swear got 400 miles to a tank. It did, it got almost 400 miles to a tank with all wheel drive. Take a note, Subaru. I had a Legacy GT Limited that was awful on gas. I traded it in, it was so bad on gas. And my friends with the WRXs, they're surprised at the cast. You know, for a four cylinder engine, you should be getting, you know, look at these Hondas. Holy crap, right? 40, 40 miles to the gallon? Oh, 22. We're back to 22. That lady in the caravan gave me a look to kill. This message is brought to you by Dunkin' Donuts Medium Ice Blueberry Extra Extra Melted Sugar. <sighs> Status <clears throat> update. I have 25.9 miles left until the destination. 25.8, so we're slowly getting closer. <clears throat> Again, real time. See, I don't get this. Real time, right now, my miles per gallon are awesome. That's real time. You know? But if I click it back to average, 22.3. Seems like when I keep it on this one, it, well, there it goes. Yeah, but I'm going uphill. Ugh. I hate physics. It's like one of those cool subjects that you want to talk about and you want to be smart about, but when you see them in real life, they suck. You know, because you have to overcome them. How can you get a car to get good gas mileage even while going uphill? You have to assist it somewhere, right? And uh, we just ain't going up there yet. We don't put magnets in the road up big hills with north facing magnets to propel you up the road, you know. And the only reason they don't do that is because if you did put magnets on the road, your car would stick to it. So you'd have to make a car that was completely made of not metal. But trains do that, don't they? Don't they like levitate? Those high-speed trains with magnets? Dude, I had that idea when I was like seven. I'm not kidding, I had that idea, ask my dad. The first time I ever saw two magnets that couldn't be pushed together because they were both north face, I said, why don't cars do that on the road? And, and if they did that, then they wouldn't have to repave the roads all the time. You know, how come I can come up with that at six or seven years old? You know what we spend our money on? This is what we spend our money on right here. This is what we spend our money on. Redoing roads, hiring police, and I don't know, everyone else in the world to fix roads. We spend so much money in, on roads in Massachusetts that it is ridiculous. And I'm not gonna turn this into a political thing. But, some mayor, or governor, sorry, the governor, the taxinator that we have in office right now, he wants to give us, he wants to find a way, I love this, he wants to find a way to raise $1.9 billion in Massachusetts. Now, if you know any, if you're from Massachusetts, you know that most of the money out west gets pushed out east, right? All the money kind of goes towards Boston, you know, to these big digs, and you know, the more we spend, the less we get. Boston gets nice. Boston gets all kinds of cool stuff. Big towns with big taxes get a bunch of nice stuff. But the people in Wareham, 
they don't get anything for that. They have to spend another dollar on a pack of smokes or another 23 cents in gas, but they don't get anything for it. When they go to Boston, they get a nice experience. When they can afford the gas to go to Boston, they might have a good experience with their $19 cigarettes. They're taking away the quality of life for the average person and giving it to the people, once again, who don't really need it or use it. Yeah, I just, I don't get that. Why would you tax cigarettes another dollar? And I'm not saying that, like, I'm mad about them taxing cigarettes. I mean, it's not that cigarettes are a great thing. I don't agree with cigarettes, although I smoke, but I, I know, total hypocrite, right? But I get it. They want to put a tax on cigarettes so that everyone who smokes pays, you know, for these fucking roads. Great idea. So what next? What else are we going to tax? You're gonna tax lap dances? How come they don't tax lap dances? How come they don't how come they don't tax the lottery? These people spending scratch ticket money like crazy. If it was two dollars plus a quarter for scratch tickets, and that quarter went to Devo Patrick, you know. I'm not saying that that's a good idea, but that's a good idea, right? What else could we tax as sin tax that would do pretty good? Candy. You know? Why would you tax cigarettes on... T cigarettes are for adults. Adults are the ones who work. So, why would you tax the working people? Kids don't work. And candy's bad for you. So tax the shit out of candy. Tax soda. Soda makes an unreal profit. And don't even tax them. Just get the money from... Don't tax us. You know, charge. make them charge me more, but don't show me that it's a tax. Make them pay their taxes. Yeah, I said it. Make Coca-Cola pay their fair share of taxes. Make Pepsi-Cola pay their fair... Ch <laughs> that just sneaks up on you. Pay their fair share of taxes. Big corporations, one that gives us these products. Why would you tax the guy that smokes a cigarette when the guy that's making the money is big tobacco with lobbyists, tax him. Tax him huge. Tax him wicked huge. Oh, oh man, I feel like I'm driving in the wrong lane on this highway because everyone is getting in my shit. Point nine miles. You know, just for the record, I've never done a commentary, I've never done a documentary, I've never done anything, and I feel like I'm doing all of those things right now, all in the same time, so, it's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Don't forget, if you're just tuning in, this is a documentary. We are seeing if this Audi will make it the whole way to Seekonk without gasoline. Uh, for an update on that, I will tell you that... We have 18.5 miles left. And my tank tells me we have 20 miles left until empty. Oh man. So it's it's gonna be close. I should probably make a phone call to a friend right now, right? We'll call Troll Fury. He just informed me that there's a Mustang with 500 wheel horsepower about to hit up the dyno. That's awesome. I like that. Troll Fury. Answer your phone. I think if I was going to be on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, Troll, I mean, Troy, or whatever, Troll, he would be the last person I would call. It. Hello? Hey, say hi to the world, dude. Do what? Say hi! Hi. Alright, cool. Hey, listen, dude. I'm in the middle of doing a documentary by myself on the highway. Yeah. I have the Audi S4 right now on fucking E. 
E E below E, like 20 miles left. It says, it says I have 15 yeah. miles still empty, and it tells me my destination is in 16.9 miles. Dude, I've been recording ever since I left Wareham with a GoPro going on my dash and all kinds of dark, all kinds of cool stuff. Can you hear me? Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna say. Can you? Is there gas there? So that I can get. I want to do this documentary, man. Is there a gas station right when you get off the highway? All right. Well, I'm probably gonna fill up there. All right. Well, I'll see it. I'll see it. Can you? You want to meet me there for the uh, for the documentary? Or are you uh, are you busy? Say what? Oh, got it, got it, got it. All right, man. Well, I'm gonna get back to this. I'll see you shortly. Right now, it says I have 15 miles left. And I got you, man. Don't worry about it. I I, I got it, man. I, I got GPS. It tells me all that shit. But right now, I have uh, 15 miles left, and it tells me it's 15.7 miles to get there. So it's gonna be a it's gonna be a photo finish like me on the crapper yesterday. All right, I will see you in a little bit, all right? All right, all right. See how interesting he is? Not. Actually, Troy is actually pretty cool. He likes making videos and stuff, so I can't rag him for that. Oh, look at this huge downhill we're doing. Look at this downhill, this downhill right here might be the reason we coast into Seekonk. Because of this downhill right here. Look at this. Where's my real time? Yeah, 28.9. Man, I'm getting Corvette numbers over here, huh? I heard that a Corvette V8 gets 30 miles to the gallon on the highway. I believe it, because it's rear wheel drive, you know. But that must be at 62 miles an hour downhill rolling thunder. Because I'm averaging 25.2, 20, 25.5 real time right now. But it's all wheel drive, so I guess that's the issue. Woo! Let's see here, guys. 14.2. That is how far I have to my destination. And I'm guessing this thing says 10, because it doesn't, you know, 15. Oh, back to 15, huh? 15, so I'm looking okay. But that'll probably say 10 in a minute because it only goes by increments of five. <laughs> uh, that's gonna be funny, huh? And as much as I hate to say it, I look around at a lot of these cars that are around me, and I don't think any of them get as good a gas mileage as I do right now. I mean, realistically, or, or not that much better, you know, to change a car just for better gas mileage could be a new move. Unless you have something that is completely belligerent. You know, something just absolutely asinine. Oh, and that thing did just drop down to 10. Nine, nine. <laughs> <coughs> so I got 13.1 miles. 13.1 miles with 10 miles left on the ticker. Like that thing right there. Don't lie to me, Ford. Don't tell me that that Ford right there is doing 70-something miles an hour, you know, getting, uh, you know, 25 miles per gallon. I don't even think that Volvo right there is getting that good. That jet is probably doing good, though. Left. And that thing's pretty good, too. But, again, those are two Volkswagens, right? 2.0 turbo, not even a four motion, I don't think. Wow, that was a girl driving it, and she was whipping, man. She she took that on ramp like Ken Block. She must have been in a rush. They must have been having a sale somewhere. They must have been having a sale. And that, it's 10:19 a.m. So they must open at 10.30. Before they opened at 10, she's really running late. Wow, 
All right, so the speed limit is actually decreased to 55 miles an hour through this part coming up here, which is great for me because now I'll really suck up some MPGs. 43.6 real time right now, 35.4. It's dropping, but it's there, you know, and I am doing the speed limit. People might hate me right now, but this is for science. I tell you, with a talking as a person with a lead foot, I must say that if you drive the, the posted speed limits regularly, if you always do your best to, to drive those posted speed limits, um, you'll get incredible gas miles no matter what you drive. It's just the time, you know, if you've ever been stuck behind somebody doing 30 miles an hour in a 30 mile an hour zone, you want, you want to choke them. You, you wish you had longer arms, you know, it's, it's horrible. But if you were going to be completely boring like a science guy, you would see that for the, for the economy, well, not for the economy, I guess. Well, as far as our oil production, well, we don't want to produce oil. Um, as far as our oil consumption goes, it would it would be dramatic if everyone did the speed limit. And I think that's why they dropped it down to 55 miles an hour at some point. And then people wanted to choke everyone out, so it went to 65. But let's be realistic, right? If the if the speed limit's 55, everyone's going to be doing 65. Right? So if the speed limit's 65, everyone's going to be doing 75. Thank you. So if you wanted to keep consumption low, they should have just kept the speed limit low and not pulled anyone over for doing, you know, under under 75. It's the same thing, right? You know, because don't tell me that the speed limit's there to keep people safe. You know... Do you feel not safe when you do 80 miles an hour? I feel safe. Because 80 miles an hour used to be fast in an old Nova, in an old 65 whatever. But now cop cars do 145 miles an hour. No sweat. So, you know, speed limits are kind of dull. You know, for the fun point. Dude, check this out. So, you know what we're in Iran? and uh, North Korea's ass about, we don't want them building any nuclear power plants because they're, they're deadly. They're dangerous. They can be used to enrich uranium and they are a, a place where you can do research and all sorts of development into making people's lives good and bad at the same time. But that don't stop us. No, no, no. You can't even drive down the street without seeing one of these puppies. If I was taking a video in Iran right now, you'd see bombs dropping on that. <laughs> Why are we so scared, America? Why are we so scared? For a country of tough guys, we are a bunch of wusses sometimes. North Korea barking, big talk, they ain't doing shit. And it's still no reason to go right to, right to nuclear war, you know, isn't that kind of stupid? Wow, this is getting close, fellas. It's getting down to the wire. I'm almost there, by the way. The show's almost over, so... <laughs> you must have probably already shut it off. If you're still watching this, if you're still watching this, I love you. I love you. Or if you fast forwarded all the way to this part. Um, two and a half miles left. 2.4 miles left to uh, the exit that I got to take. My total trip is 7.2 miles I have left. <clears throat> it still says I have 10 miles left in this tank. And that's pretty damn good. But it's going to say 5 in a minute. I know it is. I know it is. Other things to talk about. Usually I don't run out of things to talk about, but I feel like if I say the wrong things, that this conversation can go south quick. So I'm not going to just give you something. Um, I'll really ponder an issue. I know a guy, and he's addicted to brake fluid, 
but he said he can stop at any time. I believe him. Uh, I don't really know that many jokes. It really is a beautiful day out today, though. I gotta say that. 50 degrees down in Rhode Island here. Ooh, five miles left. Five miles left, and I got 1.2 to get off the exit here, Swansea. Why is my alignment off? Not my alignment, my, I feel like my tires are shaking. In one mile, balancing. Exit right. I feel like my balancing could be better, but I'm so picky. Dude, I went on this drive with Troll, Fu Troll Fury uh, a couple weeks ago, and our last week. And it was like a rolling car show, like a thousand cars down to, uh, I don't know, some undisclosed location. I can't give it over. Um, <clears throat> and I, I get nervous like when the wheel shakes a little bit. I get nervous when like I hear something funny or whatever. Dude, these guys didn't give a flying shit about their cars. I mean, they loved them to death, but I mean, they didn't care if the paint was scraped. They didn't care if the da 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 They didn't care about anything wrong, smoke out of the back rusty, clanky, gearbox grinding. They didn't care. They just didn't care. Awesome. Awesome. I want to build a race car someday. And I don't really want it to be like all super fast and crazy and all like that. I just want it to be, you know, a race car. You know, 187 horsepower, nothing inside of it. Nothing, like one seat roll cage, a little better than a gold car. Right. You know, I saw a nice well, I hate to say nice, because they're not nice, I don't think. Like a, a Civic, but it was just a you know, front-wheel drive drag car. It's running like 11s. It's pretty, it's pretty decent. Why are you tripping on me? In the name of science, dude. I don't like coming to a stop and then driving. You know I'm not getting good mileage now. Oh, another five miles. I don't know if we're going to be able to make it. I should stop and get like a gallon of gas. And then I can do the math real fast. Oh, this is funny stuff. But I want to see if we make it. Don't you want to see if we make it or fail? Oh, red light. Come on. You know what, the numbers are so close that, I mean, either way, it's a win. This thing is spot on, I guess. But I'm gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get gas just cause I can right here. And we're gonna find out just, just how close we got to, uh, <laughs> we got to knocking this thing down to zero. A lot of people here. Uh, oh my God. Don't they have one ways in gas stations yet? Alright, I'll see you at the pump. 